This is a great retrospective review on the treatment of infantile hemangiomas with a special emphasis on how propranolol has changed surgical practices. The author stratified the patient groups into before and after propranolol. Not surprisingly, they found propranolol to be effective and superior to corticosteroids as a medical treatment. This is not news and many papers have demonstrated this since 2008 when propranolol use for hemangiomas was first published. This paper shows that 35% of patients treated with steroids still required surgery, 35% of patients with no prior medical treatment also required surgery. This data suggests that while steroids may decrease or limit the growth of hemangiomas, it did not reduce the need for surgery. This is in contrast to propranolol, where only 8.9% of patients treated with propranolol continue to need surgical correction. Therefore, this paper demonstrates that the use of propranolol has decreased the instances where surgical treatment is utilized. However, as the authors say, there's still a need for surgical correction. Some infants will present too late for effective medical treatment, some will have contraindications to propranolol, and some parents will refuse propranolol. I agree with the author's observations, and I have seen in my own clinical practice that alopecia, fiber fatty residuum, contour deformity, and needle derma or loss of skin elasticity often seen in involutus superficial hemangiomas and scars from ulcerations are still best treated surgically. Any surgical scar will look better than these sequelae. I agree with the authors that nasal tip hemangiomas are especially tricky. We need to correct the cartilaginous deformity as well as debulk the hemangioma. Finally, I have noticed in my clinical practice that lip hemangiomas often need surgical correction to line up the vermilion and balance the lip size and shape. The surgical techniques we employ have not changed with propranolol. So, in conclusion, I'm confident that the plastic surgeon still has an important role in the management of hemangiomas.